welcome back to another Tuesday Tips and Tricks. Um, today we are going to show you a little trick that you can use whenever you are making pillar candles like we've got right here um, and you're having trouble getting them out of the mold. I've got our uh, this pillar candle that I poured here. I'm going to remove the wick bar and it's uh, one of our pyramid molds as you can see and um, I'm having trouble getting it out of the mold. Uh, this, this is the Feather Palm Pillar Wax, and this wax does not shrink a whole lot. Um, our uh, paraffin waxes that we carry for pillars um, do tend to shrink the most, but this palm wax just does not shrink up all that much. So I have already attempted once to try to remove it from the mold, but I'm pulling pretty firm on this right now and it is not coming out at all. So what I'm gonna do um, is I'm going to take this and put it in the freezer uh, for about three to five minutes. And what this should do is it should allow this uh, wax to shrink up and pull away from the sides of the mold just enough for me to be able to slide it out. Um, this is not something that I recommend that you do for any container candles or tarts or anything like that. This trick is really just going to be for pillars and only in the case whenever you have trouble getting them out of the mold. And um, I do also not recommend leaving them in the refrigerator for more than three to five minutes. If you let it go any longer than that, um, it can actually cause your fragrance throw to weaken. Um, so I'm just going to go pop this in the freezer for a couple of minutes and then we will come back and show you uh, how much easier it will be to pop this guy out of the mold. Okay, so I have uh, let my pillar candle here sit in the freezer for about three to five minutes. Um, I can already tell that the wax is uh, pulled away from the mold and it's even ready to just wiggle right out of there. So I'm going to take it out of the base and I'm just gonna gently flip it over here and slide it out. And there we go, we have our finished product. I love this uh, feather pillar wax. It just has this beautiful like feathered crystallized pattern on the outside. I don't know how well you can see that, but this is an absolutely beautiful wax to use, especially for pillars. All right, that is it for today's Tuesday's Tips and Tricks. Um, come back next week for more.